Menu design is a topic that has been studied for many years by the HCI community, but with the web, menus are being used more and more for long lists of data-driven content. In general, having good mechanisms to support selection from a long list is of growing importance. Most pop-up menus use arrows at the top and bottom for moving within a list. Selecting a website, such as Gateway, can take some time. Some menus use scroll bars, or others organize information hierarchically. We designed a new menu interaction technique called fisheye menus, which show all the items at once, but distort the view to show a larger focus region that follows the cursor. This approach is straightforward, but it turns out that the simple implementation you see here has some difficulties that we avoided with some iterations on the design. The first problem was that the layout is not stable. That is, as you move the mouse around, the bottom of the menu moves up and down. The new fisheye menu provides a stable layout by increasing the size of the focus region when the mouse nears the end of the list. The second problem was that the small items in the menu were so small that you couldn't read them to help navigate. So we added index letters on the left side of the menu that indicate where to move the mouse to have the focus center on the item starting with that letter. Finally, there was a more subtle problem, which was lack of resolution for selection. Since fisheye menus have the same amount of screen space for more items, there is less space available to select each item with. While it is very fast to get to the general area in a fisheye menu, it can be very difficult to select a specific item. We solved this by offering a high resolution selection mode that is accessed by moving the mouse to the right side of the menu. This locks the focus and lets you change the selection within the focus region. In this manner, we can pretty quickly select gateway by moving the mouse up to G in the index, then moving the mouse to the right and locking the focus, and finally moving up and selecting gateway 2000. One final aspect of the fisheye menu design is that it is possible to control the size of the focus region, giving more or less room to the periphery. Here, we make the focus small, giving more room to the periphery. And here, we make the focus big, giving less room to the periphery. We ran a pilot user study comparing arrow menus, scroll bar menus, hierarchical menus, and fisheye menus. We found that for goal-directed tasks, users did not like arrow menus or scroll bar menus, but they did like hierarchical and fisheye menus, although there was a lot of variance in how people liked fisheye menus. For browsing tasks, users preferred fisheye menus. We also found that an expert user consistently found arrow bars to be the slowest interface, and the other three mechanisms to be comparable in speed. Fisheye menus are written entirely in Java and are built using the Jazz Toolkit for zoomable user interfaces, also available from the HCIL. We are happy to make Fisheye menus available for you to download from the web, and we hope that you enjoy it and give us feedback on how it works for you.